Hi, I'm Kirsten, your host of All Teens Workout, where I take familiar hip-hop dance moves and use them for a fun aerobic exercise. On today's show, we'll also get a few tips on how to pump up our strength with some lightweight training. We'll bring together our mind, body, and soul with a peek into the ancient art of yoga. We'll also work on our endurance with a way to take walking to the next level, race walking. And the great thing about these workouts is they don't cost you a dime, just your time. Together, these three things, aerobics, strength training, and flexibility make for a complete exercise program. So get ready for a fun, fitness-filled show. Oh, and by the way, always check with your doctor before beginning any exercise program. Now when we return, we'll start with a warm-up for our aerobic dancing. See ya! Here are some before exercise tips. Allow three to four hours for a big meal to digest, two to three hours for a small meal, and an hour or less for a small snack, depending on your body size. If you exercise for less than an hour, you can eat foods that digest easily. Choose high-carb, low-fat foods, such as crackers, bagels, or bread, and drink lots of water. After exercise, 15 to 60 minutes after workout is the best time to eat carb-rich foods like a banana or bagel and drinks like orange juice. Protein helps to repair muscle, so eat a few slices of turkey on whole wheat bread or have a large glass of protein-fortified milk. The most important thing to do is fluid replacement to replace what you sweat out. Drink a glass of water an hour before you work out and again after you work out. You can also sip water throughout your workout. Hi everyone, I'm Kirsten, and here I am at the Dance Moves Studio in Largo, and I've got all my dancers in the background getting ready to help me teach a couple of hip-hop moves to you. Today, we have Candice, Kayla, Caitlin, Kiona, Sarah, and Keenan. All right, today we're gonna to be teaching you some easy hip hop moves that you can put together in a dance and it'll just raise your heart rate and you can use it as a cardio workout for whenever you wanna burn that layer of fat that you've got that you wanna get rid of maybe for the bathing suit season or something, all right? So keep in mind that when you smile, your heart rate is being raised. I know you don't believe it, but smiling can actually raise it quite a bit, okay? So keep a smile on your face the whole time. Now right now we're just warming up, really simple. We're doing a step touch, and as you can see, we're already warming up. Your heart rate is slowly rising, and you don't even know it. It's pretty easy. All right, so now we're gonna stretch a little bit because we're getting ready to dance. And we're gonna start with the neck. So you're gonna roll to the right. Five, six, ready, go. Roll to the left, back to the right, and once again to the left. Go back to your step touch. All right, so we got the neck all stretched out. And next we're gonna work the shoulders, okay? While you're keeping that step touch, you're just gonna roll your shoulders back. You're gonna do it four times to the back, four times to the front, two to the back, two to the front, and then singles, all right? So five, six, ready to the back. Two, three, four, front. Two, three, four, back two, front, two, and single to the front, back to the front. Go back to your step touches. All right, so you can feel it all out. Your shoulders are all done being stretched out. They pretty, feel pretty warmed up, okay? Next, we're gonna stretch your sides so you can have more fun stretching, okay? Now, just up, get ready. Put your hands in second position and your feet, and then raise up, stretch to the right. You should feel it all along the side of your torso. Keep stretching. Hold that. And then let's turn forward and have a flat back, okay? You wanna make sure that your back is as flat as a table, okay? See how Kayla's doing? And then bring it up. Bring your hand down. And put your right one up. And do the other side. All right, you should feel it again. Turn forward, flat back. As 
flat as a table. You want to remember that you can eat off of your back, okay? Turn back to the side and up. And let's go back to our step touches, okay? Step. All right, let's do some hips, okay? We're just gonna do some hip isolations. We're gonna bring them to the front, the right, the back, to the left, and keep going, okay? We're gonna do really quick, okay? Step. Five, six, ready, go. Front, right, back, left, front, back, right, left, okay? Step touch. We're gonna go into our slides. So you're gonna slide to the right. Five, six, ready, go. Slide. Now this is gonna get your heart rate going even faster so you can get ready to jump into those dances, okay? Don't forget to smile. Right, everyone? We're having fun, smiling. <laughs> All right. You should feel your heart rate going up. I know I do. All right. Now step touch. All right, now we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be right back for all teens workout. All right, I'll see you soon. Here are some more tips for the warm up. The warm up is supposed to slowly increase your heart rate while warming up your muscles for exercise. So don't skip the warm up or you increase your risk for injury. If you are new to exercise, warm up for five to 10 minutes. All right, here we are. We're back with the first dance. I'm gonna teach you. So we're gonna get started, okay? On the first step, what you're gonna do, they're just gonna keep stepping and you're just gonna watch me so I can teach you, okay? You're gonna take your left knee, bring it up and hit it with your palms, and then you're gonna do the same one with your right. So it's just one, two. So you've got your right knee up, and then you're just gonna stick out your heel, and you're gonna body roll and drag yourself forward, okay? So all together, it should look one, two, drag up, stop. Okay, so you just dragged up and you stop, and you're gonna step out, out, in, in. Kind of like a football run when you see them all going like this in one line in the movies. It's kind of like that. So you got out, out, in, in. You're gonna do the same exact thing, but facing to the side. And you're gonna step forward, touch, back, touch. All right, so you had knee, knee, draw up, out, in, step forward, touch, Step back touch, all right? So let's try to do that all together. In five, six, ready, go. One, two, drag up. Out, in, forward, back. Back to step touch, all right? So it's pretty quick, you'll see. The next step, you just got done. Step forward, step back. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your weight on your right foot, turn around yourself, and stop. Okay, so you just had step forward, step back, turn around, stop. Now this next move is a little bit hard, but you'll notice that a lot of people do it at high schools nowadays, or any schools, you'll see that dances. All right, it's called the heel toe. And you're gonna do your heel, step out, heel, step out. So it's just step, 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 step. Now keep doing that if you really want, if you want to pause and take a second to learn that. But I'm going to need to keep going so we can get this done, all right? So you just had step forward, step back, turn around yourself. Then you're going to have heel, step out, heel, step out. Okay, we're going to go on. So you just had heel, step out. You're going to go your other heel, you're going to face the left at a diagonal. And you're going to lean back so that your body almost looks like a diagonal too, okay? So you have your right heel, your left heel, and then you're gonna face the right, you're gonna switch sides, lean over, and you're gonna have the right toe and the left toe, okay? So you had step forward, step back, turn around, heel, toe, right heel, left heel, toe, toe, all right? And then after that, you're just gonna have a swoop and you're gonna bring your right foot up and you're gonna to turn to the back and then you're just gonna stand your right here, okay? So you just had swoop and stop, all right? So we're gonna go that far, guys, just the swoop and stop. All right, just there, remember, it's quite fast. So just try to keep that heart rate up. 
and five, six, ready, go. One, two, drag up, out, in, forward, back, turn around, heel, toe, and dig, and swoop. All right, so here you are, you're done. All right, back to the step touch. Now what you're gonna do next, you just had the swoop to the back. Now I'm gonna face you and do it, but just keep in mind you're doing it to the back. So you're facing like this, so you get down low, and you're gonna bring your arms like this, and you're just gonna put your left shoulder up, and then bring your left shoulder down, okay? So it's gonna look up, down, up, down. All right, so you've got up, down the first time, and then before the second time, you take a step, and then up, down, all right? So if you're facing the back, it looks like this. You're gonna have up, down, step, up, down, okay? So swoop, up, down, up, down. Then you're gonna face the side, face your right. You're gonna go almost in a sprinkler motion. You know how you see all the people like, woo, at the dance? All right, well, it's, the arms are kind of like that. And you're just gonna face the side, and you're gonna go up, down, up, down. So it's the exact same thing, just different arms. All right, so you had up, down, up, down to the back. Then you're gonna have, facing the right, up, down. Take another step, up, down. All right? So let's go on from there. Remember, that was after the swoop that we just did, okay? So five, six, five, six, ready, go. Left, right, drag up, out, in, forward, back, turn around. Heel, toe, step, toe, whoop, up and down, up and down, sprinkler, up, down, okay? So back to the heel, toe, or the step to the side. All right, so you just got done with the sprinkler, up, down. Now what this makes me think of, it makes me think of those muscle men that you see flexing their muscles, and they go like this, and they're like, ooh, look at my body, I'm so pretty. Okay, well you're gonna do that, and you're gonna do it facing a diagonal to the right. Your arms are gonna be up like you're showing off your muscles. And then you're gonna do it to the other side. And then you're gonna step out. And then you're gonna face the left, okay? So you head to the right, to the left, face the left, all right? So you just head up, down, up, down, right, left, face the left. So you just got done facing the left. You're gonna do a body roll motorcycle, okay? So right, left, face the left, body, roll, motorcycle, okay? All right, so you had motorcycle, and then you're gonna do two body rolls down. I don't care what you do with your arms, you'll notice Kiki will put it on her hips. You right, Kiki? She always has some kind of flair to her, which is good. You wanna make this routine your own, okay? So you just do body rolls, and then the next step after that, I call the catch me if you can. Now you're just gonna Lean forward on your right, and you're gonna have your arms like this, and then you lean back, maybe snap, I know I always snap. Lean forward and back, right? And you're stepping well while you do it. So it's gonna look like this. So catch me if you can, all right? All right, so let's try that again. With everyone, we're gonna have the whole dance. That's it, all right? You guys ready? Yeah. Five, six, ready, go. Drag up, out, in, Turn around, heel, toe, and swoop. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Muscle man, face left, body roll, motorcycle, body roll, body roll. Catch me if you can. All right, I know I kind of sped up. We're gonna go back to the sub touch. I know I sped up towards the end and I kind of got fast teaching it, so we're gonna go back over it. You stopped with the sprinkler. You're gonna go into muscle, face the right, face the left, step out, your arms are still here, and then you're just gonna face the left. They're still in a straight line with your shoulders. So face the left, and then you've just got a body roll, and your arms are here, almost like you have your hands on, on the handlebars of a motorcycle almost, okay? So you're just gonna pull it up and rev your engine on the right side, and then you're gonna do the same thing with the left. Okay, so you just had the sprinkler and then muscle, face the left, body roll, get into your motorcycle, and then rev, rev, 
and then you got your two body rolls again. Don't forget to make this dance your own, okay? So body roll, body roll, starting to lean over to the left, and then you go immediately, lean forward into the right, and catch me if you can. All right? So we had sprinkler, don't forget the muscle, body roll, motor cycle, body roll twice, and then catch me if you can. All right? So let's try that one more time. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to smile. I know we all are. Are you ready? All right, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Left, right, drag up. Out, in, forward, back, turn around. Heel, toe, heel, and toe. Scoop, up, down, up, down, sprinkler. Muscle man, face the left, body roll, body roll twice, and catch me if you can. All right? We're all having a lot of fun, and I know our heart rates are up like we're going to do, right? That's what we're here for. So let's do it again. And five, six, ready, go. One, two, drag up, out, in, forward, back, turn around, heel, toe, heel. Toe, scoop, up, down, up, down, sprinkler, muscle man, body roll, motorcycle, body roll, body roll, and catch me if you can. All right, so that was the first dance. We're all done with it. So just keep moving constantly, okay? That's all I can tell you. Just gotta keep that heart rate up. Like we're doing the step touch, it always keeps it up, okay? So come back again and we'll teach you the second dance, which is a lot different. It's having more moves. And I'll see you around, okay? Bye, guys. Hi. Here's another form of aerobic exercise that you can do on your own or with a friend. And it doesn't cost you a thing. Race walking. No, you don't have to be an Olympian to do it. It's more about technique than it is about speed. Race walking can give you a better workout than regular walking. You can burn more calories, tone more muscles, and believe it or not, if done properly, get less injuries. Race walking is for anyone who wants to get the most out of their walking workout, no matter what your walking pace is. It just might be a good fit for your fitness program. I met with nationally certified personal trainer, race walk instructor, Bonnie Stein to learn more about her favorite sport, race walking. Hi Bonnie, so tell us a little bit about you and your sport of choice, race walking. Well, I'm a race walking instructor. I've been race walking now for 23 years. I've been wow. teaching it for 19 years. And I live in here in beautiful Pinellas County. I'm a Florida native and this is the best place in the world to be out walking anyway. So tell us exactly what is race walking? Race walking is actually an Olympic sport. A lot of people don't know that. It's been an Olympic sport since 1908. Wow, so this is, this is kind of old. It's not exactly a new sport. Exactly. What's new about it is that a lot of people who are either former runners or injured runners or don't want to run anymore are looking at walking as a good way to get a good workout without having to run. So that's where a lot of people who are just exercise walkers are looking to race walking to help them get a better workout. Here's some fitness tips to get you started in race walking. Wear a good pair of shoes, preferably sneakers. Start your workout slowly. Stretch after you're warmed up and at the end of your workout. Begin by increasing your workout by taking longer and more frequent walks. And use more than one walking route. For more on race walking, log on to acewalker.com. For a more in-depth interview on race walking with instructor Bonnie Stein, Log on to WPDS.TV. See you on the trails. Hey everyone, we're back for another dance. And we're just going to teach you some more moves that you can put together for a dance to use as your cardio workout at home or anywhere if you don't have a gym membership or something. Okay? So I hope you're still doing your step touches because you need to have that heart rate up constantly. You need to burn off those calories that you want to get off so you can lose that weight or even just be healthy, okay? So we got your step touching, and then you start off with just one, two, three, four. All right, it's just four simple walks forward, okay? But have a lot of fun with it. Make it bounce. 
three, four. And you're gonna start with your right foot. So step forward, two, three, four. And then you're at the end of that, you're gonna have pop up, down, and pop your chest out, okay? So you just had four walks, and then go on your toes, and then land out, and then you're just gonna pop, pop. I call this almost like a cat position, because if you notice, cats, when they get really scared, they like arch their backs and, and they look around a lot. So just arch your back and then pop, pop, okay? So you had one, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop, all right? All right, let's do this, guys, okay? And five, six, five, six, step on your right. One, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop. Back to the step touch. It's pretty simple, right? Uh, scoot back, so you're gonna have to move forward. All right, so you just had the up, down, pop, pop. Now if you'll notice, a lot of us are doing our four steps forward really differently. We're doing different arms. Maybe you're like this, maybe you're just getting funky with it. Just make it your own and keep that body moving, okay? You wanna keep that heart rate up, all right? So you just had walk, two, up, down, pop, pop. And you're gonna go to the right with the hip. You're gonna go right, left, and then two to the right. And I call this single, single, double. And then you're gonna go to the other side, single, single, double. So you add up, down, pop, pop, single, single, double, double, single, single, double, double. Make sure that that's to the right first, okay? All right, let's get that going. In five, six, five, six, ready, go. One, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop. Single, single, double, single, single, double. And back to step touch. Don't forget to move back. You don't want to run into the TV or something, okay? So you just had single, single, double, single, single, double. You're gonna go down with your right foot out and you're gonna to use your right hand in front of you, like, almost like you're grabbing for something, okay? And then your left hand is just gonna be wherever you want. You can put it on your hip, on your knee. You're gonna have it pointing somewhere. I don't care what you do, okay? Just down to the other side then down to the right and lift that knee up. So it's gonna look down, down, up. And then you're gonna to go to the other side, down, down, up, okay? So you just had single, single, double, single, single, double, down, down, right up, down, down, left up, okay? All right, let's do that one, okay? And five, six, five, six, don't forget to smile. One, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop, single, single, double, Single, single, double. Down, down, right up. Down, down, left up. Back to step touch. All right, step touch you can use anywhere you want as long as you keep that heart rate up. You can even do jumping jacks in between. All right, so you just had down, down, step up. Down, down, step up. And then you're gonna turn to your right. You're gonna get down, you're gonna go run, run, run. Just make sure you're facing forward, okay? So you have three runs to the right. Run, 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 and then you're gonna use your right shoulder up and then down, okay? So run, 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 up and down. All right, let's add that little bit on. You guys having fun? Yeah! All right, so then let's do it. Five, six, ready, go. Step, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop. Step, step, double. Single, single, double. Down, down, right up. Down, down, left up. Run, run, run. Up and down. All right, back to that step touch. Okay, so you just had up and down. Now what you're gonna do next is called the chicken head, okay? You're gonna bring your left knee in, and then you're gonna bring it to the back. The right knee in, bring it to the back the left again, and then the right again. Just make sure that your toe is always touching the right ground, okay? So bring your left in, toes always touching ground as I slide it back, 
the right in, always touching again. Same thing with the left, and then the right once again, okay? And now what your arms are gonna do while you're doing this is you're gonna bring them out, and they're in together, they're all laced together, your fingers. Bring them out, and as they're going back, so are your arms. Out, out, and out, okay? So you got up, down, chicken head, three, four. It's a lot faster than that, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's go, guys. And five, six, ready, go. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Right and up, left, up. Run, 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 up and down. Chicken, two, three, four. Back step touch. All right, so you just had chicken, two, three, four, and you're gonna slide to the right, okay? The slides that we did in the warm up, you're gonna get the heart rate back up, all right? It should already be up, but we're gonna do it even more. So slide to the right, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Just five simple little slides. Just make sure that you bounce with it a lot and you keep it up. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's add those in. All right. In five, six, ready, go. Walk, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Down, down, right up. Down, down, left up. Run, run, run. Shoulder. Chicken, two, three, four. And slide. Two, three, four, five. Step touch. All right, so you just had your fifth slide. You're gonna run, and then you're gonna swoop to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right, just make sure you get really low and your arms are almost like in an L, okay? So you had your fifth slide. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, okay? And then after that fourth slide, you're gonna go back into the heel toes, but we'll go on with that later, okay? Right now, just head on the runs and then the swoop. Two, three, four, okay? So from the beginning, adding that on. Five, six, five, six, ready, go. Walk, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop. Single, single, double, single, single, double. Down, down, right up, down, down, left up. Run, 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 shoulder, chicken, two, three, four. Slide to the right, left, right, left, right one more time. Run, 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 one, two, three, four. All right, go back to the step touch. So you just had swoop, two, three, four. Make sure you pop your shoulders when you do that. And then you're just gonna go back into the heel toe that we taught you in the first dance. You're just gonna go heel, and then you're gonna go double. And it's just doing the heel twice, okay? So you've got heel, heel, double, heel, heel, double. All right, keep practicing that. We kinda gotta go through this because we don't want to run out of time, but it's just heel, heel, double, heel, heel, double. And pause it, practice if you need to, but we're gonna go on and add that on, okay? Five, six, and five, six, let's go, guys. One, two, three, four, up, down, pop, pop. Single, double, single, double. Down, down, right up. Down, down, left up. Run, run, run. Shoulder. Chicken. Two, three, four. Slide. Two, three, four. One more time. Five. And run. One, two, three, four. Heel, toe, double. Heel, toe, double. All right. Well, we're going to go, because that was the end of the dance. Just keep your body moving, OK? And now we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back with more All Teens Workout. All right, bye, guys. Stretch, breathe, and strengthen. 
People say they feel better, stronger, and healthier after they've done yoga. And I have to agree. I took yoga in school and I'm glad I did. Most people begin to practice yoga to relieve pain and stress, to improve their fitness, or even to help with weight management. Funny thing is, those who really give yoga a chance end up liking it and making it an essential part of their lives. Now regardless of your age, body type, or fitness level, they say there's a style of yoga to suit everyone. So I met with yoga instructor and fitness coach Maureen Ahern to find out if yoga really is good for everybody. I know when many of you think of yoga, you think of people sitting in this position and humming. But there's actually a lot more to it than that. And here joining us today is Maureen Ahern, who's going to be giving us some tips on yoga. So what is yoga? And what, what is its history? Well, yoga, the word yoga means union. And it has been around for thousands of years. It came from India, and it's been in the West for approximately um, about 50 years or so. They mm -hmm. began practicing it in the United States. So it is becoming a lot more popular. People are, are discovering its benefits, uh, not only its physical benefits for exercise, but the, um, the mental benefits too. Here's some tips to get you started in yoga. Wear loose fitting tops and pants, bare feet only. Practice yoga on a non-slip, stable surface. Not all exercise mats are good for yoga. Pain signals to stop. Breathe in and out through your nose, keeping your mouth closed. And concentrate on proper posture. For a more in-depth interview on yoga with instructor Maureen Ahern, log on to WPDS.TV. Hey everyone, we're back and we've got a special treat for you. We have the dancers from Dance Move Studio here in Largo, and they come up with a combination themselves. So, they're going to teach it to you and it's going to be a blast, okay? Alright, have fun Sarah. Thanks Kirsten. Okay, this is the combination that we made up ourselves, so we're going to get straight into it with the first move. You're going to step out on your right foot and bring your arms out in front of you, and then step back and bring your arms back with your foot. And then do it on the left side, out and back. Next, you're going to jump on your right foot and bring your left foot out, and your arms are going to press up. Do it on the other side, and then double on your right side. One, two. So one more time, you're going to step out with your right foot, and then back, out, back, one, two, double. We're going to do it a little bit faster. Out, back, left, press and double. Okay, now we're all going to do it from the beginning, full speed. It's a little fast, but just go as good, good as you can. Okay, guys? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. Press, double. Back to your step touches. Okay, the next thing, you just did your press. You're going to step on your left foot and bring your right knee up, and then do the same thing with your left knee, and then you're going to take two steps to your side. You're going to step out with your right foot, Roll your arms forward, and then do a body roll back. So one more time, step forward on your left foot, bring your right knee up, left knee up, step together, arms, and body roll back. So we're gonna add that on to the beginning. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, arms, body roll. We'll try that one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step together, arms, body roll. So you just did your body roll. You're going to punch three times starting with your right arm and then your left. Right, left, right. And you're going to step your left leg out and snake your head around and then bring your feet together. Next, you're going to step out, and you're going to pull your right arm back and your right heel out, and then do the same with your left heel, and then step together. So after you just did your um, body roll, you're going to go right, left, right, snake together, step, right, left, together. So let's add that all on from the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, together, arms, body roll, right, left, right, same. Step, right, left, together. We'll try that 
one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, back, press, double, step. Together, arms, body roll, right, left, right, take, step, right, left, together. So you just did your right, left, together. You're gonna step your left foot behind you, turn all the way around yourself. Then you're gonna kick up your right leg, you're gonna jump onto it. So, one more time. You just did right, left, together. You're gonna step left behind you, jump. So we'll try that again from the beginning, full speed. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Step, knee, together, arms, body roll, right, left, right, sink. Just do 
it. Watch if you can. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Press and double. Step. Ball change. Arms. Body roll. Right, left, right. Together. Step. Turn. And jump. Right, left, left, right. Five. Shake. Five. Shake. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Full speed. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step. Press and double. Step. Ball change. Arms. Body roll. Right, left, right. Stake. Right, left. Together. Turn. And jump. Around. Forward. Around. Forward. Slide. And shake. Slide. And shake. All right, this is the last time we'll do it. Just full speed, try and get, do it as well as you can. So we're gonna keep smiling, keep moving in between. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, back, press, and double. Step, I'll change, arms, body roll. Right, left, right, sink. Right, left, together, turn, then jump. Around, around. Slide and shake, slide and shake. You gotta keep doing your step touches. And we're gonna take a quick break and then we'll be right back with more all teens workout. Most people go to the gym and immediately do the exercises they like. For guys, that means bench presses or curls. And girls like to hop on a treadmill to walk or run. But well, plunging straight into an extreme exercise routine is a sure way to burn out fast. And an unbalanced workout isn't good for you either. So I met with strength trainer Stephanie Bixler from the YMCA to find out just what we teens need to do to strengthen our bodies properly. Today I am at the rock climbing wall here at the YMCA in St. Petersburg and today I'm going to be learning a little bit about strength training. So here with me to help me out is Stephanie Bixler, who's a personal trainer at the YMCA. Now, do you think it's okay for younger people, like my age or, or teenagers, if you will, to use weights? It absolutely is okay for teenagers to lift weights. You don't want to just jump into it too hard. Take it slow, start with someone who can give you some good instruction, um, be careful with the weights, and, and look for signs that where you could get hurt. There's a difference between injury and feeling a little sore after you lift weights. It's normal to feel sore for a couple of days and it should work itself out. Also on that note, might want to talk with your doctor before you start a strength training workout. That's recommended for all ages. Here are some strength conditioning fitness tips. Include exercise for every muscle group. You should be able to do at least eight repetitions if the weight is the correct amount. Gradually work your way up to 12 repetitions. Once you can do that comfortably, increase the weight and go back to eight repetitions. Try to work out at least four times a week. Don't train the same body part two days in a row and a strength condition consistently for best results. Remember, you can work your entire body during a workout two to three times a week, or you can choose a certain muscle group and then work on those on certain days. You should vary your routine every eight weeks for maximum results. Couple this with cardio and stretching, and you're off to a strong start for a fit and healthy body. Hey everyone, here we are, we're back from our hard workout. We just got done dancing, and as much as we had our heart rate up, now we have to bring it back down, okay? I hope you brought a lot of water and you were drinking it constantly through your workout, because you don't want to get dehydrated. And you also don't want to slow your heart rate down by stopping immediately, or else you can get dizzy and or sick, okay? So we don't want that. So we're just gonna have light step touches and breathe in deep, okay? We're gonna do some breathing exercises. We're gonna get ready. And inhale. Exhale down. Roll up. And shoulders back. Let's do that again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Roll up. Shoulders back. One more time. And breathe in. Exhale. Up and roll those shoulders back. 
Nice step touch again. All right, you should feel your heart rate slowly going down, okay? Let's stretch out some things that we used. We're gonna stretch out the hamstrings, okay? So step back with your right foot, and put your left heel forward, put your weight on your right knee, and you should feel your hamstrings all along your leg, okay? You should just feel that stretch, because we use those a lot, okay? Hold that for a couple of seconds, breathe into it. And exhale. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Hold it. You'll feel it all along your hamstrings. I know I do. Breathe. And then get back up. All right, now we're gonna sweat. We're gonna stretch our upper thighs, which is our, our quadriceps, okay? And we're gonna get your balance. You might wanna put your left hand out. Pick up your right knee. Get your balance. And feel that stretch. Breathe. You should feel it really, really well right here. Hold it. And put it back down. Stretch your right arm, grab your left knee, and stretch, breathe into it, back down. We're going to do some isolations with our torso, like we did with the warm-up, we did our hips, now we're going to do our torso, okay? So you're just going to go forward, right, back, left. Forward, right, back, left. Let's do a couple circles. The other way. Let's breathe a couple times. Inhale up. Exhale down. And up. And roll your shoulders back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Roll up, bring your shoulders back. One more time, inhale, exhale, bring up, roll the shoulders back, and back to the step touch. All right, you should hear, feel your heart rate down significantly, and that's good, this is what we want, okay? So thank you for joining us on All Teens Workout. Once again, I'd like to thank the Dance Moves Studio for letting us be here. I hope to join us again. All right? Bye, guys. Now, just because you've had a great workout doesn't mean you can go stuff yourself, especially with lots of empty calories. So reward yourself with a healthy snack that's also the right portion size. Hey, everyone. You want to know a quick way to get a snack going? Once it's all put together, you put it in the microwave for 25 seconds. Now while that's going, I'm gonna explain how to do it. We have some wasa bread, some chicken, some cheese, and some salsa. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put some chicken on top of the wasa bread, sprinkle it with some cheese, and then when it's all done, take it out, maybe put some salsa on top to add some flavor, and there you go, it's high protein, low fat, and it's fun, quick, easy, and on the go. Here are some more tips for a healthy snack. Eat a whole grain cracker with low fat cheese for instant energy boost. Try peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread. Try whole wheat toast or one serving of high fiber cereal. A palm full of almonds, cashews, or pecans. Or a high protein energy bar that has three grams or less saturated fat, no trans fat, corn syrup, or fructose. And keep yourself hydrated by drinking eight glasses of water a day. It can fill you up, help you maintain a healthy weight, and keep your body cool. Here are some tips to work in more water. Flavor it with a squeeze of lemon or lime. Eat fruits or veggies with high water content. Soup can provide 3 quarters cup of water per 1 cup serving. And blend a few ice cubes into your smoothies. So do your workout a favor. 
eat healthy, watch your portion sizes, and keep hydrated. Your body will thank you and you'll feel a lot better. Well, that's it for this show. I hope you enjoyed it and found it fun and informative. Whether you choose to exercise in the morning, at lunch, or after school, make it a part of your daily routine. Work out in the morning for a few weeks, then try noon, then early evening. See which one you enjoy the most and makes you feel best afterwards. Just find a time that helps you make your exercise a regular part of your life. You can get more in-depth on the other exercises we showed you by logging on to WPDS TV or tune in to our Bright House Network's On Demand TV channel. See you next time on All Teens Workout. Be happy, healthy, and wise. We'd like to thank Susan Hartley and her Dance Moves Studio in Largo, the YMCA of Greater St. Petersburg, Gladden Park Rec Center, Gulfport Rec Center, Pinellas County Parks, Bonnie Stein, Maureen Ahern, and Stephanie Bixler. Our hip-hop dancers, Sarah, Kayla, Candice, Caitlin, Kiona, and Keenan, Thomas Bovelt and his art students from Northeast High, Caitlin McLean from Dunedin High, and Nancy Hayes, the WPDS TV 14 crew, the Pinellas County School Superintendent, and the Pinellas County School Board members.